Hello again everybody, welcome back to my shop. So recently I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw a very tempting uh, Grizzly 8 inch uh, jointer for sale and when I clicked on the link it actually took me to an online auction site and it was a local auction for a gentleman that had recently passed away and he was like me and he was kind of a multidisciplinary hobbyist and he had a lot of stuff and so I ended up participating in that auction and I picked up some things and I thought I would share with you all what I had gotten and I'll share with you what I paid for it what it's all worth and then we'll also go through on uh, how well everything works so if that interests you stick around and we'll check it all out Okay, so first off we will start with the box of goodies here on my left. I ended up bidding on six lots and I won four of them. And the, one of the lots was this uh, box full of um, glues and resins and supplies for glue ups mostly. So um, along with that, you know, I got a few rolls of this wax paper, you know, no big deal. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a um, it's a jaw for a vise, and I think it just was randomly on the shelf with the glues and things. An open thing of epoxy. I got some uh, small bench dogs here. Um, a block of paraffin, I think it is. I'm not sure what it would be used for. Um, I got this cool little uh, Allen Bradley on off switch. It's really old school and uh, I do a lot of work with Allen Bradley in my day job so that was kind of neat. Um, you know your typical Harbor Freight bag of acid brushes and then I got some uh, clear Gorilla Glue here that looks like it's still good. I got some polyurethane Gorilla Glue which looks like it's still good. A couple of boxes or a couple of bottles of really old Elmer's glue that actually looks like it's still good. You know, one of those uh, epoxy sticks. Um, and then, oh, I got a bottle of, an uh, old bottle of WD 40. All right, so now here's some of the more, you know, appealing things. This is a clear coat epoxy. It, I guess it's for doing tabletops and things like that. It comes with two parts here. It's still in good shape. I got a bottle of tight bond hide glue. I guess if I want to do some reversible gluing. And then I got these two full bottles of Stickfast CA glue uh, in thick and in medium. And along with that, I got these three bottles of spray activator for the CA glue. So this was really what I was going for when I was uh, bidding on this lot. And I only paid $14 for this whole lot. And I got to sort through it all and kind of clear out what I don't want but most of it's worth keeping for the most part it's all pretty good except for maybe this old five minute epoxy it may not be good anymore and the second lot I picked up was this hand truck here um, I used to have one I don't know what happened to it I think somebody borrowed it this one weighs about 30 pounds it's pretty heavy duty and um, so I just got it because it was cheap and uh, I was going to be picking up some other stuff while I was at the auction pickup site anyway. So I decided to grab that and that lot cost me $14. The third lot that I bid on and won is this collection of router plate inserts from woodpeckers.com. Some of them are machined out of aluminum, which are very nice, and the rest are machined out of plastic and um, as you know the woodpeckers products are very high quality made in the USA high precision 
items and uh, this is a set of 10 rings and this set also cost $14. And the main reason I bought these is because I was bidding on the next item, but unfortunately the way that they had it set up was this item ended before the next item came up. So if I won this one, I had to really, I really wanted to win the next one because this goes with the next item and this was the big thing that I went for. So we'll check that one out now. So what you're looking at here is a homemade router table. It's pretty heavy duty uh, setup that we got going on here. There's a bunch of accessories that came with it. And so I'll kind of work through everything. Uh, right up front here you see this is a rockler. Um, it is a jig, a sled for uh, routing um, narrow and small parts you know on your on your table so like especially if you're routing like cope and stick joinery and you have a narrow piece that needs to go up against the router here this will hold it all steady then there is this uh, this is a, called a blackjack small parts jig and it does kind of the same thing it holds small parts um, for you so you don't have to get your fingers close to the router bit it's like a little vise and um, this little piece can move either side and, and clamp the small pieces and then you can hold on to the handles and move it across and uh, get your fingers close to the bit. I got a couple of push blocks here, just regular push blocks that are slippery like they always get on the bottom side. I got a, a homemade coping jig. I think it's kind of the same idea, right? So you put your your copes right here on it and then you back it up and push it with this handle. Nice little metal ruler from um, from Great Neck Saw Manufacturing Company. And then I don't really know what this piece was for. Um, I, it might have either been it may have been a fence that he had used before he got this fence, or it may be something completely different. I'm not sure, but I'm going to use it uh, when I make a resaw fence for my 17-inch bandsaw right there. Okay, now to this guy. So, in the pictures of the auction, all you could see was a uh, router plate here, and this is the Woodpecker's Precision Router Lift. So I knew it was a, a lift, and I knew it was the Woodpecker's Lift, which is a really nice lift. It is the older model, it's not the PRL2. But I saw the lift, and I saw the hint of a router inside here, and I knew that this router lift was made specifically for the old, reliable, three-horsepower Porter Cable, I think it's the 7518 router body and so I was pretty sure that that router was installed in this unit and so sure enough once I got there after I bought this guy I have a look-see and underneath here there you go this is the Porter Cable 7518 it's a five-speed router it's like three and a quarter horsepower the thing's a monster and uh, it can pretty much handle any type of routing tasks that you want to have and it's perfect for a router table. Now this precision router lift here, you know, it comes with um, the uh, adjustment mechanism from up above and you can change your bits and everything from up above the table so you don't ever have to get down in there. The, ta the, uh, the cabinet also came with built-in um, dust collection He's currently got it coming out the top, but there's also a hole in the back that I can route the hose to, so I'll be able to uh, have my dust collection go out the back. So in addition to all of this, I also got the Woodpecker's, I guess it's called the LE router fence. It is an older model. Um, it doesn't have the ex aluminum extrusion um, on it, but it does have these nice um, MDF fence faces here that are replaceable. And as you can see under here, there's another pair of them that, that's ready to go. And then on top of that, I realized that down here in the bottom of the cabinet is the routing pattern that you can buy 
uh, at the Woodpecker's website to make the pocket to put the router lift into. And so if I decide I don't want this cabinet, um, I can inlay the, the, the router lift into anything that I want. Like let's say I want to put it in the end of my saw stop here. I can do that. And then the gentleman that built this, you know, tidied it up with a nice legitimate start stop switch right here in the front. And um, it's really a nice tidy setup. I really have no intention on disassembling this or really doing anything to it. I might paint it black or something and like the cabinet portion, but that's probably going to be about it. It is on casters and so I'm going to take it off the casters and I will shim it to make it the same exact height as my as my table saw and as my outfeed table. And so for this lot, I ended up paying $305. And everything here, so the total was like $347 for everything that I bought. And, um, you know, I did a rough estimate. And when everything was new, it was probably somewhere between $1,500 and $1,800. And so obviously this is used, but still I feel like I got a pretty smoking deal on all of this because I needed a router table, I needed a router lift, and I needed one of these Porter Cable Monster routers. So uh, I came out pretty good on this deal, and I don't know. So what do you guys think? Did I get a good deal, or do you think I got ripped off? Uh, this was my first experience doing one of these online estate auctions but it was pretty painless. I'll go ahead and link them down into the description below. I, I'm not sponsored. Um, I don't get anything for linking it, but if you want to check it out for yourself, um, you might there might be some auctions in your area of interest for you. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like this type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like the video and do all that stuff that seems to help my channel out. Stay tuned for more videos because I have a whole lot of stuff going on in the shop right now. So until next time, I will see you guys later.